This is Talizora Vasnima Naraya, requesting permission to dock with the Raya. Our system has your ship flagged as Cerberus. Verify. After time adrift among open stars, along tides of light and through shoals of dust, I will return to where I began. Permission granted. Welcome home, Talizora. We'd like a security and quarantine team to meet us. Our ship is not clean. Understood. Approach exterior docking cradle 17. Captain Shepard, Tally Zora told me a lot about you. I wish we could be meeting under more pleasant circumstances. I've never actually reached the rank of Captain. Technically, I'm no longer in the Alliance military at all. You're the commander of the Normandy, responsible for the lives aboard it. That entitles you to respect among our people. May you stand between your crew and harm as you lead them through the empty quarters of the stars. Kill us alive. It's an old ship captain's blessing, Shepard. What are the charges against Tally, Captain? The charge is treason, and the punishment if she is found guilty is exile. You know me, Captain. You know I never do that. They're charging you with bringing active Geth into the fleet as part of a secret project. That's insane. I never brought active Geth aboard. I only sent parts and pieces. You sent Geth materials back to the migrant fleet? Yes, my father was working on a project. He needed the materials. If I sent back something that was only damaged, not permanently inactive, no... No, no, I checked everything. I was careful. Technically, I'm under orders to place Tali Zora under arrest pending the hearing. So, Tali, you're confined to this ship until this trial is over. Thank you, Captain. Preparations got underway as soon as you arrived. The hearing's being held in the Garden Plaza. Good luck. You should speak with Admiral Rahn. She's waiting for you up ahead. I can't believe they're charging Tali Zora with such a thing. If Tali Zora can't even get a Korean captain to stand for her, she's as good as them. Tali Zora vs. Normandy. I am glad you came. I could delay them only so long. Auntie Ron! Shepard Vas Normandy, this is Admiral Shalaran Vas Tonbe. She's a friend of my father's. Wait, Ron, you called me Vas Normandy. I'm afraid I did, Tally. The Admiralty Board moved to have you tried under that name, given your departure from the Nima. Take it being associated with a human ship is a bad sign. They stripped me of my ship name. That's as good as declaring me exiled already. It's not over yet, Tali. You have friends who still know you as Tali Zora Vasnima. Whatever we must call you legally. You're an admiral. Does that mean you're one of the judges? I'm afraid not. My history with Tali and her father forced me to recuse myself. I imagine father had to do the same. You'll see inside, Tali. For my part, I moderate and ensure that the rules of protocol are followed, but I have no vote in the judgment. I guess we should get started. Does Tali have a defense counselor? Someone who speaks for her side? Indeed she does, Captain Shepard. She is part of your crew now, recognized by Quarian law. And remember, an accused is always represented by his or her ship's captain. So, uh, 
you would actually speak for my defense. Tally, I'm not a lawyer. Hell, everyone thinks I'm part of Cerberus. Do you really think I can help you? They're trying to turn the crowd against me. That's why they changed my status to Vos Normandy. This whole trial is a farce. You underestimate us, Tally. Do not forget that you have friends as well as enemies. I delayed their attempt to try you in absentia. I convinced them to allow a human into our midst. You still have a chance. Present the truth as best you can. It will have to be enough. Now come. I promised that I would not delay you. This conclave is brought to order. Blessed are the ancestors who kept us alive, sustained us, and enabled us to reach this season. Kill us a lie. The accused Talia Zora of As Normandy has come with her captain to defend herself against the charge of treason. Objection! A human has no business at a hearing involving such sensitive military matters. Then you should not have declared Tally crew of the Normandy, Admiral Chorus. By right as Tally's captain, Shepard must stay. Objection withdrawn. Shepard vs. Normandy, your crew member Tally Zora stands accused of treason. Will you speak for her? I shouldn't have to. When Tally helped me stop Saren and his Geth army, her actions spoke for themselves. Without her help, none of you would be alive to put her on trial today. Well said, Shepard. None of us should forget Tally's contributions to the fleet. Tally, you're accused of bringing active guests to the migrant fleet. What say you? How could Tally have brought Geth to the fleet while serving on the Normandy? To clarify, Shepard, Tally isn't accused of bringing back entire units. Only parts that could spontaneously reactivate. But I would never send active Geth to the fleet. Everything I sent was disabled and harmless. Then explain how Geth seized the lab ship where your father was working. What are you talking about? What happened? As far as we can tell, Tally, the Geth have killed everyone on the Alarai. Your father included. What? Oh, Kila. I thought Quarians valued family. How do you justify springing this on Tally in the middle of a damn trial? Our apologies. Tally should have been informed. Shepard, we have to take back the Alarai. The safest course would be to simply destroy the ship. But if you are looking for an honorable death instead of exile, I'm looking for my father, you bastard! You intend to retake the Alarai from the Geth? This proposal is extremely dangerous. I'm here to help, and I'm good at killing Geth. Then it is decided. You will attempt to retake the Alarai. You are hereby given leave to depart the Raya. A shuttle will be waiting at the secondary docking hangar. Be safe, Tally. This hearing will resume upon your return, or upon determination that you have been killed in action. Thank you for agreeing to take back the Alarai, Shepard. The Admiral sounds sure that my father is already dead, but... I don't know. We won't know anything until we get there. Is there anyone here you want to talk to before we go? We can talk with the Admirals. It might help us to see what their viewpoints are. But I doubt we'll change anyone's mind by talking to them privately. Let's go. 
Right. The sooner we get to the Alarai, the sooner we'll know what happened. Shepard, the secondary docking hangar is through the Conclave chamber where you are now. The shuttle they have provided is unarmed. Understood. Loyalty to the fleet is about more than just killing them. Talizor is guilty. Kavriger. Shepard, Talizora, good to see you both. Wish you were under better circumstances. What did they get from our readings? Damnedest things, just like they said. No way the sun on Haystrom should have been acting that way. So that dark energy theory is right. That's troubling. Can't really comment on that, ma'am. I just shoot things. What are you doing aboard the Raya? It sounds like you gave your report to the Admiralty already. Well, uh... I stayed to argue the charges against Telly Zora. I've served with her and she deserves better than what she's getting. Thanks, Carl. Just stating facts, ma'am. Have you had any luck talking to the Admiralty Board? Admiral Ron asked my opinion about the Geth since I'd fought on Haystrom. She and Admiral Garrel are hoping you'll kill a bunch of Geth to get the crowd on your side, then find evidence to clear your name. They were hesitant, but, well, you didn't have many other options, ma'am. I recommended getting you onto the Alarai. I hope you can handle it. You did the right thing. Thank you. You said that your mission had something to do with dark energy? Right. Remember the damn sun on Haystrom? Shorted out everything. Way too much radiation? The sun's getting old. Only it's not. Dark energy. It's reducing the mass of the star's interior. Techs are worried. Do you think the Geth are responsible for what's happening to Haystrom's sun? Keela, I hope not. If they can screw up a star, our chances in war are even worse than I thought. I don't think this is the Geth. It would take massive time and resources to affect a star like this deliberately. It's too inefficient to be a weapon, and even the Geth wouldn't destroy a useful star system. Besides, they didn't show up until we did. <laughs> I hope you're right, ma'am. Synthetic bastards are bad enough as it is. What does that dark energy buildup mean? Is it something we should worry about? Sorry, Shepard, I don't know what it means. Just that it has the scientists worried. Hopefully it's isolated, some rare phenomenon. If dark energy can destabilize solar material. Probably not something to worry about now. But resources in this galaxy are scarce enough without stars suddenly going dead. Some days I think flying around in the fleet without a planet of our own is the right idea. How have you been, Rieger? You took kind of a beating on Haystrom. Physical damage wasn't bad. I was down for about a week with infection, though. Figure I got off easy. I don't have to face those admirals. With your immune systems, it couldn't be easy for Corians to fight a war. You'd lose more people to infection than injury. We can't afford a frontline attack, that's for sure. Have to fight smart. Ideally from orbit. We do have stockpiles of antibiotics. It's not as though everyone would die from a single shot. No, Shepard's right. You've only seen our strike ops, Tally. Don't have all the fancy equipment in a frontline fight. Supplies get strained. Things get ugly. Fast. We should get going. Good luck on the Alarai. Stay safe out there. Tali Zora, given the circumstances, are you certain that speaking to me is appropriate? I'm looking for information about the Alarai. I don't intend to bribe you in the middle of the plaza, Admiral. Pleasure to meet you, Commander Shepard. We owe you a debt of gratitude for your actions against the Geth. Tali was with me. Saren and the Geth would have destroyed us all without her help. Your political machinations are transparent, Commander. They are also unnecessary. If you and your father were actually experimenting on active Geth subjects, then you are simply idiots. No reason to waste resources on a trial. If not, then this was a tragic accident in the pursuit of a higher cause. Again, no trial is needed to determine that. Sounds like your ideas about synthetics are in the minority. Yes, at least on the Admiralty board, Han Geralt sees an enemy that must be crushed. Salchorus would run away and hide on some new colony world. Shala Ran is still undecided. 
I had thought Rail to be firmly in Han's camp, but if his experiments were on active Geth, perhaps we have ideas in common. You support experiments on living creatures. Rail should have felt no more guilt experimenting on Geth than I did while performing surgery on a childhood toy. The fact that you performed surgery on your childhood toys explains a great deal, Admiral. A ship travels faster than I can. With the right programming, it can choose locations, even defend itself when attacked. But it is just a machine. It was built for the sole purpose of serving its master, and it can be dismantled whenever its master desires. If we don't find Rail alive on the Alarai, what do you think will happen? The power balance will be disrupted. Han loses a vote for his foolish and self-destructive war. That would favor peace, then, as Charla Ran is too careful to risk her own neck. But, if the Admiral replacing Rail agrees with me, things could become very exciting. If you're not interested in this trial, why not recuse yourself? And let that aging warship Han Geral and the cowardly Zal Chorus be the ones to chart this course? I think not. The broader purpose underlying the trial is too important. Tali Zora is only peripherally related. No offense intended. And what is the true purpose of this trial, Admiral? To determine whether Quarians should fear their past mistakes or reclaim their glory using our natural affinity for artificial intelligence. So the only reason you care about this is because Rael might have learned something valuable from the Geth. Indeed. If he has, then even in this accident we may find something worthwhile. You want to create new AIs? No, Tali Zora. I wish to return the Geth to the control of their rightful masters, the Quarian race. You're insane. Thank you for the information. It was a pleasure to meet you, Commander. Shepard? How did you get onto the Raya? Shepard is here to help me with my trial. Oh yes, I uh, heard about that. I hope you didn't really do what they said you did. No, Vitor. I would never endanger the fleet. Oh, well, good. So, can I help you with anything? I mean, probably not, but you help me. Tally could use some friends right now. Would you be willing to tell the Admirals how she helped you? No, I mean, yes, but I already did. They came to see me. I didn't want to talk in a crowd. Vitor is doing well, but he isn't ready for a public speech just yet. I talked to them. So did that soldier, Cal Rieger. We both told them about how you helped us. I hope it helped. I'm sure it did, Vitor. Thank you. Do you remember anything else about the Collectors? Anything at all? Nothing new. I'm sorry. Every time I go back to that place in my mind, I... I... Vitor, come back. It's okay. I want to help, but I can't. I didn't see anything, and what I remember... Don't worry, Vitor. We're going to find the things that did this, and we're going to kill them. Good. Thank you. Take care, Vitor, and good luck. You too. Be safe out there. Shepard spoke well to the Admirals. You set me up, Shala. You told Captain Donna not to say anything? I don't hear that my father may be dead until I'm in the trial? Why? The Admirals needed to hear the shock in your voice, Tali. Otherwise, they might not have let you try to retake the Alaray. That is your best chance at recovering evidence that can exonerate you. I am sorry. We cannot afford sensitivity, Tali. At least someone here is looking out for Tally. Will retaking the Alarai really help her case? Tally showing a desire to correct mistakes she may have made will make up for a lot of lost ground. But more importantly, you may find evidence of what happened. With luck, it will exonerate Tally from any wrongdoing. I'm supposed to care about that now? All I want to do is find Father. You should get to the Alarai soon. Is there anything else I can tell you? What can you tell us about the Alarai? Not much, I'm afraid. Riel Zora only said that he was researching new defense technology. 
He told me only that he needed any Geth parts or pieces I found. I assumed he was testing weapons on Geth components. We knew nothing until the Alarai sent a distress signal, then went dead. We didn't even know about the Geth until a boarding team was attacked. You're saying there's no data about the inside of the ship? That's exactly what I am saying. The Marines who survived and escaped saw bodies in the halls. We must assume the worst. No, we don't. How long have you known Tally's family? Since before Real was an admiral. 25 or 30 years, I'd guess. I was there when Tally was born. Her mother and I had synced up our suits so we could be in the same open air room. I was sick for a week, but it was worth it. I was the one who took Tali from her mother and put her in the bubble. She cried so hard. I don't understand. You put your children in bubbles? Environmental units. It's a step between relying on the mother's immune system through nursing and getting a suit of one's own. The bubbles let parents take their children out of the clean room safely. We don't wear suits until adolescence. There's a celebration when a child gets her first suit. It's a coming of age. I'm not hearing much about Rail's involvement in Tally's life. It's difficult to explain. I shouldn't. It's all right, Anshala. No secrets between shipmates. I think I told Shepard about my father. If you say so, Rail was committed to the Quarian cause. That didn't leave him a lot of time for his family. He wanted to give Tally and her mother the home world, or a strong fleet at least. That was how he showed his love. What kind of evidence will carry weight with the admirals? Tally, you admitted to sending Geth parts to your father for his project. Yes, but never anything that could have come back online on its own. I took every possible precaution. Then find records of your shipment and experiments. Something that proves you were careful. Something that proves that this is all just a terrible accident that nobody could have foreseen. There seem to be some other arguments going on among the Admirals. You caught that. Yes, the guest's presence makes this a touchy issue. The Admiralty Board is trying to determine whether to focus on colonial development or attempt to retake the home world. You're thinking of war with the Geth? I am not, Tally, but others are. I know the migrant fleet is formidable, but even you can't take on the Geth. We grow tired of wandering the stars, Shepard. We want our world back. We have paid enough for our mistake. I'm not giving you my opinion. I'm telling you which way the wind is blowing. We should move on. Good luck on the Alarai. Even during the hearing, Talizor's first thought is to protect the fleet. Judging by your ability to play to a crowd, human, I have done Tali a favor by stripping Vas Nima from her name. Commander Shepard, this is Admiral Zalcoris Vas Quibquib. Do not ask about the name. I take no pleasure in this, Tali, truly. But you have gravely endangered and dishonored our fleet. You have a ship named Quibquib? Oh, here we go. Our people have, during difficult periods, purchased pre-owned vessels from other cultures. And have, on occasion, had difficulty altering the ship's registry information. The citizens of these foreign-named ships have borne the stigma of these names with grace and honor. If it bothers you, maybe you should find another ship. I've occasionally entertained the idea of requesting a transfer. Something with a nice, respectable name, like the Defrens or the Ictomy. But I am proud of the Quib Quib, and I will not flee because of petty insults.
Can you tell me anything about the LRI? Only that you should have let us destroy it. When we find the evidence of what Tali and her father did there, any hope of convincing the other admirals will die. I did not bring active Geth to the Alarai, Admiral. I know how dangerous that would be. I only brought pieces. The captured ship with its crew slaughtered by living beings in pain belies your argument. What exactly is your problem with my crew member, Admiral? I respect Tali immensely. Her actions against Saren are to be lauded. But, like her father, she wants nothing but the destruction of the Geth. The people we created, the people we wronged. The Geth drove us from our homeworld. Of course they did. We tried to kill them. You and the other admirals appear to have some disagreements beyond Tali's trial. You are correct. Tali, I apologize for it being brought into your proceedings. The other admirals are pushing for war. Rail Zora was researching new weapons to use against the Geth. They would see our fleet destroyed in the skies over our homeworld, rather than find a new colony and adapt. Can the Quarians coexist with the Geth after all your history? I don't know. We all deserve to find out. They are our children, Shepard. We have all done horrible things to each other, but it has to end. For both groups. That is why I cannot sanction whatever experiments you helped enable, Talizora. I believe this message needs to be sent. I understand, Admiral. I do not agree with you, but I understand. We should move on. Goodbye, Talizora. Be well. I'm surprised to hear you say that. I don't hate you, Tali. I just think your father's plans for war were wrong. Tally. I'm glad Admiral Ron got you leave to hit the Alarai. Hopefully you'll find something that clears your name. I'm more concerned with finding my father, Admiral. I wish you luck. Blow up some geth on the way. And your Captain Shepard, Admiral Hangarel Vasnima. To be honest, I was afraid a human would be too meek and humble. Watching you rail away at Admiral Chorus, though, Tally's in good hands. I get the sense you're inclined to believe the defense. I'm glad one of the judges is. If you were only giving Rail an active equipment for weapons tests, I've got no problem. We need to test weapons against Geth material. I know you and your father. You put too much of yourselves into this fleet to do anything to jeopardize our safety. And you're both smart enough not to make mistakes like the ones they're saying you made. Can you tell me anything about the Alarai? Nothing good. We sent some of our best marines into that hellhole. Damn few made it back. Whatever Rail was doing, it blew up in his face. The ship is crawling with Geth. Don't go in expecting survivors. Admiral, my father, your friend, is on that ship! I know that, Tally. But if Shala hadn't suggested you might volunteer, we'd already have destroyed the Alarai. That's where we stand. You and Tally's father go back a long ways? We served together on the gunship Yaska during a bad Batarian raid. We were kids, serving pre-pilgrimage as trainees. A crew of ten, and six were dead. Kinetic barriers were down. Rail and I were alone on the bridge and the Batarians had drawn off a tramp freighter. Did you save the freighter? Our ship was under orders to hold position, but Rail looked at me and said, We're underage. They can't charge us for breaking formation. <laughs> he took the helm, I took weapons, and we brought that freighter back. The crew called us heroes. The brass called us idiots. They slapped medals on our suits, then kicked us off to pilgrimage a bit earlier than usual. <laughs> That's Rail for you. Sounds like we're dealing with more politics than just Tally bringing back equipment. <laughs> you noticed that, did you? Tally's father wasn't just running weapons tests on the Geth for fun. 
He was looking for something to give us an edge when we attacked the Geth in full-scale war. I know Father wanted to retake the homeworld someday, but are we that close? I don't know, kid. We almost had the vote. We just need to give people hope for victory. I hope the Quarian people find some place to live, Admiral. But it sounds like you're playing with fire. We're too comfortable now, Shepard. We've got the largest fleet in the galaxy and we just ride around doing nothing. We might need that fleet to help fight the Reapers, Admiral. Then we need a world to shelter our non-combatants while we do it. Thanks for the information. Hang in there, kid. Thank you, Admiral. The human can work a crowd, I'll admit that much. 